on this week's episode of Not So Newsworthy, Liverpool vs Manchester United, James Harden to the Brooklyn Nets and Deshaun Watson's trade request. Well, this was disappointing. I plan to have this as the top story and the thumbnail for this video and the game ended as a no no draw and it wasn't an exciting one. Both teams were more afraid of losing than they were hungry to win and that's just the honest truth. That's why this game was so boring. Both teams would have taken a draw from the beginning and while Jurgen Klopp will probably feel the most disappointed, he is still within touching distance of the league leaders and that's what matters most to both of these teams. United are still top of the league and Liverpool haven't given it away yet. Wayne Rooney, the Manchester United, England and most notably DC United legend has decided to call it quits on an amazing career. In light of this, I thought it would be a great idea to have a look at a couple of his old tweets because that's what I'll be remembering him for. Not the titles or records, not even the overhead kick, but the tweets. So let's quickly run through some of his best work. First up, we have Phil Neville tweeting, I'm up and ready for first session of the day bike ride round the lake. Rooney then replies saying, at Fizzer 18, shut up Philip, you are boring the life out of me on this. Next up, we'll just have a tweet out of the blue saying, hi Rio, do you want picking up in the morning pal? Then we have a weird one. Rooney here tweets, anyone know when, I'm assuming is what he's saying? When the Premier League started. What here? Now we have some thread action. He tweets, we call at GNEV2 teabag because he's a ringer of teabag in prison break. For everyone asking, Gary Neville then responds and in response to this, Rooney says, at GNEV2, ha ha Gary, don't be silly, you like boys don't you, teabag. Another one here, directed at Rio Ferdinand, Rooney tweets, at Rio35, can't believe me and Johnny getting the blame for farting when at the Michael Owen is sitting there waffling and grinning. He then tweets again saying, me and Rio35 have just destroyed everyone at FIFA. 13 games, 112, drew one. At Luis Lani nearly in tears, twins sent to bed early. Second last one here, we have at Fizzer18, which if you don't remember is Phil Neville. So at Fizzer18, Moyes is a legend. What he has done for Everton is brilliant. Probably only made one mistake in 10 years. Signing you. Ha 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 ha. And finally, an absolute gem from, from Wayne Rooney. He tweets, just to confirm to all my followers, I have had a hair transplant. I was going bald at 25. Why not? I'm delighted with the result. And to be honest, Wayne, so am I. You look so much better, mate. Congratulations. Then there's this guy, Luka Jovic, who is the living embodiment of the grass isn't always greener on the other side. I mean, the man scored as many goals in 28 minutes as he did during his entire time at Real Madrid. If you have any explanation for this, please drop it in the comments below because I'm baffed. So James Harden is a Brooklyn net. One of the seven best players in the league joins KD and Kyrie in Brooklyn. This was not surprising though. Rumors have been floating around for months. What is surprising is how Harden went from this to this in a matter of days. Now, there are three potential answers to this question. Firstly, he's been fasting and doing three hours of cardio every day since the trade. Secondly, he was wearing a Medea style fat suit or thirdly, light blue is just not James Harden's color. I personally choose to believe the third option. Simmons, an open three. Oh. Air ball, Howard draws a foul, Dwight Howard. So from one three-point shooter to another. Last weekend, Ben Simmons attempted another three, 
and let's just say the ball received a lot of that good old O2, if you know what I mean. This is a good thing for Simmons though, as Wayne Gretzky and the great Michael Scott once said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Now Ben might actually miss 100% of his threes this season, but you have to start somewhere. And this is the first step to Ben Simmons becoming a flamethrower from beyond the arc. Watch the space. Deshaun Watson, one of the best quarterbacks in the league and my second favorite behind big boy Justin Herbert, wants out of the Houston Texans. To be honest, I don't blame him. In sporting terms, the incompetence of that organization is only bettered by the New York Jets and Barcelona. Bill O'Brien was a good coach, but giving him the GM job was a mistake from the beginning, and everyone knew it. The writing was on the wall after one of the best scrambling QBs was sacked an NFL high 62 times. 62 times! To make matters worse, the hack himself traded the best wide receiver in the league for a running back past his prime. Deshaun, if I were you, I'd hit up James Harden and ask him to borrow his fat suit. It may be the only way out at this point. Patrick Mahomes inspired the Chiefs to a 19-3 lead in a commanding first half from the reigning Super Bowl champions, before being knocked out of the game in the third quarter due to the concussion protocol. It was at this point everyone outside of Cleveland feared that we might actually see the Browns in the AFC Championship game. Chase Claypool was quivering in his boots, getting ready to delete all of his social media. But up stepped Chad Henney. He led the Chiefs to victory and ensured that order was maintained in the NFL universe. Thank you Henney, your service is greatly appreciated. Well, that's it for this week's episode of Not So Newsworthy. If you did enjoy it, please like the tap that like button. And if you're on your own here, I'm this close to 100 subs, so every subscriber matches. So if you could please drop a sub, I would appreciate that. And until next time, it's been your boy, Zachary McAllister. Have a great day.